My name is Simon Rennie. I'm the General Manager of the National Training Academy for Rail. I think the fantastic opportunity about NTAR was the opportunity to come in and create something you know, from the ground up that would make a real difference in an arena um, where there is a you know, fundamental skills gap um, there's huge opportunity in terms of the scale um, of the operation, there's huge opportunity in terms of um, transforming technology and equally how the training that delivers into that industry is, is updated and, and reshaped and re-engineered. Our main mission um, is to address the skills gap um, that exists in the industry, either because of an ageing population where there are lots of people retiring or where um, there's a whole load of technology which is coming into the industry which will mean people need to be upskilled. So those are the two reasons um, you know, that, that we exist. Um, and our mission here is to help deliver um, and they, they, those skills back into the industry, um, but in a way where we're doing it very differently. Um, so for us, that means the quality of the facility um, is unique. Uh, the combination of content that we deliver um, for a range of partners is unique. Um, and equally the way in which we deliver the training, so you know, the channels, uh, you know, the immersiveness, the interactivity, um, is fundamentally you know, the best that we could possibly offer. NTAR has been specifically designed to cater for a number of different types of people who work or are about to start working within the rail industry. Um, so on one hand, um, you may have the career changer who's worked in the armed forces or aeronautics, um, or an automotive, um, they are coming into the industry and we will help them become technically capable um, on a train. Um, the second population uh, relates to those who might have worked uh, in the industry for a long time. Uh, their mechanical strength skills are strong, however, uh, they need to be upskilled um, in terms of what the digital railway will, will bring. And the third population of those young people who are setting out in their careers for the very first time, um, and they come in and do maybe two, three, four year programs, you know, which introduce them and give them a thorough grounding in terms of electrical, software, mechanical skills, um, and set them up for you know, set them up for life um, in terms of a career within within our business. One of the fantastic things about setting up this organisation was a, quite an early recognition that if we tried to do things on our own in isolation, would we get to something approaching the best of the business you know, within a matter of months? That was a, a non-sensical thing to try and say. So we've spent a lot of time thinking about the kinds of organisation that we will work with and, and those organisations fall into a number of different categories. So there are those who help us build the kind of technology that we'll use to teach. Um, there are those who accredit um, our courses and you know, provide those qualifications. Um, and equally, there, there are those organisations um, who are helping us to write you know, the course material. Um, and we've gone away and we've been able to select um, you know, some of the, the very best organisations that we believe will, will serve the market well. So you know, there's a very strong underpinning of you know, expertise that is relevant to all the things that we are, we are trying to do. Um, so therefore, with some degree of pride, you know, I can sit here and say, if you come into NTAR, um, you will enjoy um, you know, some of the very best quality, um, you know, the very best quality training you know, delivered through the very best kind of means that's available. What you're looking at behind me is what we've informally referred to as the deconstructed train. So in terms of being a fantastic training facility, we have installed in that training hall behind us you know, all of the component parts of the train that you know, either you know, require high levels of maintenance, um, you know, they can be pulled apart safely. So you know, if you want to learn or reconstruct or, or understand how a component works, you've got a real piece of industrial equipment um, that you can do in a very safe environment in a way that, for example, won't take a train out of service. So you know, it, it's high quality, it's real technology, it's hands-on, um, and you know, we're, we're, we're pretty proud of it. So we're, we're trying, to hit and to, you know, trying to hit and deliver on, on two areas in, in, in the industry. So one is very much around uh, you know, today's technology, so therefore you know, the kind of thing that's, that's in the background that you, you can see around the deconstructed train, that will be a powerful thing to help people understand you know, today's technology. You know, equally, however, you know, when you move around the practical facilities that we have on the ground floor, um, we'll have full ER TMS uh, simulation. Uh, we've got a digital communications suite uh, which 
goes for advanced technology. We have rail electrification you know, components um, you know, as well so that we can teach people the whole system of, of how the train interfaces with, with its power. Um, and equally, you know, we have you know, high quality learning suites which will you know, give people, if you have come into the industry for the first time, you know, that immersive 3D interactive way, way of learning. My name is Dan Walker. I'm the entry level talent manager uh, and that means I look after apprentices, graduates and interns for ENTAR. We're working with a range of different partners as part of the, the ENTAR ecosystem. Um, some of those are providers that have always worked in the rail industry, some of them are ones from outside of the rail industry that we've brought in because they're expertise, they have their expertise in different areas. And so, uh, for example, we're using a network of partner colleges who are first class, class providers in engineering qualifications and then we at ENTAR are able to work with them to make this qualification is more authentic and more relevant to the rail industry, so we're delivering best, best of both worlds. ENTAR at the moment supports um, an engineering uh, apprenticeship framework. It's a pretty generic one actually, the framework itself, but what we add to it, it really enriches it and makes it much more uh, an enhanced version of the, of the normal program. So as part of a typical, uh, this framework, typically you do uh, a BTEC level 3 in electronic and uh, electrical engineering, um, an MVQ level 2 performing engineering operations and a uh, MVQ level 3 in engineering maintenance. Now these three qualifications, like I said, are quite generic in themselves. The units are fairly straightforward and they really apply to a wide range of different industries. But what we do is we come in and we help the colleges in rewriting assignments, rewriting tasks, rewriting projects, so that the learning and the output are much more aligned to the rail industry, meaning that people who use NTAR can be assured not only are they meeting a national standard for the qualifications, but also they're getting great insight into the industry they're going into. I'm really proud to be part of NTAR and I'm looking forward to seeing how apprenticeships develop over the next 12 months through Trailblazers and beyond. Trailblazers are a government initiative to improve apprenticeships across all industries and we're part of the uh, board that's putting together the Rail Engineering Trailblazer. So we, uh, Siemens as our industry partner is heavily involved in developing that and making sure that it's what um, different engineering companies actually want within the industry. So Mike Hewitt, I'm the Head of Next Generation Networks at Allen Dick Communications. We are a technology focused organisation that primarily delivers railway technologies, so it's around the telecommunications network for network rail and the operational rail environment. Predominantly that's been driven around GSMR as a core network technology and underpinning that their FTN network and we're seeing that evolve to the FTNX network which is their next generation network and will be a big part of the evolution to the digital railway. Uh, we see it as being a very strong partnership between Alan Dick and NTAR uh, with us delivering the technology focus courses, we know that there's a skill shortage within our industry uh, and someone needs to address that problem. Now being a technology focused organisation, we need to bring those people into our own organisation and be able to have the capability to train those people. So it's a natural progression that we offer that capability out to the rest of the industry to ensure that the industry's got the right people at the right place at the right time. We see the important part of this partnership is the evolution towards a digital railway. It's very much a catchphrase at the moment. Uh, and I don't think anyone really understands truly what does that mean to us as an industry. New technology is having a major impact on Britain's rail network, so much so that it's been called the digital railway. What do we need to do to prepare for the digital railway? We see that as preparing new talent to come into the industry to learn about the new technologies that are network based uh, and somewhat interesting stuff. So, a lot of people look at the railway industry as being it's the heavy industry part of it, but we see this as the sexy side of the railway industry. It's the networking part, it's the flashing lights, but it's also a skill set that's very transferable as well. When you look at, there's the IP technology ranges, we're working around things like CCTV analytics, we're working with cyber security, we're working with optical networking technologies, we're working with high uh, technical, highly technical testing of networks. So it's a really broad section of skill sets that it's going to enable the industry to grow and help UK PLC build a strong skills base. I'm Dominic McGee. I work here at Northampton for Siemens. I'm in my third year of my apprenticeship. I've completed my two college courses, my level two and level three in engineering. NTAR is going to be the place where we can learn and develop our skills for everyone in the rail industry. Um, as an apprentice, it's extremely beneficial for myself because we will have access to all the latest technology, 
and everything in a very controlled environment, which we may not be able to do every day on the shop floor. But we will have a lot of virtual systems here in Entar that we'll be able to gain experience on. We'll be able to learn, there'll be driver training provided on a system. Uh, we'll have actual components that we can work on and learn on in a controlled environment. My name's Valpreet and I study mechanical engineering at the University of Leicester. Um, I just finished my second year and I've started an internship with Siemens and Entar. So I enjoy the different facilities here at Entar because you have different workstations where you can work on different things. It's a different way of learning, it's a different experience that you get to a standard classroom facility or standard university lecture hall and I think that that's really good in order to gain more experience in the rail industry and it's changed my view of the rail industry because you realise that technology is advancing and you you realise how much more that is to be done in the industry. And at university, I don't think that you get the experience of being able to see things work in a practical manner the same way. So you can learn things in theory, but um, when you come to a facility like this, you're able to see how things actually work. I'm hoping that when I finish university and graduate, I can enter the graduate scheme and I can do placements in, in different places and hopefully come down here and, and do the VBT. Um, and hopefully gain more of an experience and, and pick up skills that I'll need to use as I develop my career and hopefully become an engineer. The lack of women in engineering is, is quite a shame because I think that they don't, it hasn't been advertised in the right way and NTAR I genuinely think is a way of um, working around that issue to make people realise how much more there is um, in engineering and the different roles that you can do. And I think if you were thinking about going into engineering, just look into it, look into the things that you're interested in um, and realise that it's not just one thing, you're not just doing mechanics. We think we've listened to um, the market uh, and what our potential users and customers have, have to say. Um, we've taken that to heart, you know, we've built something in the image of that feedback. Um, come and use us because we've got something special here.